This is Carl Benz. He made the first car, but it was practically a fat tricycle with an engine on it. Fat tricycle was produced in 1885, and it cost 600 Imperial German marks, which is about 6,230 NZD. Okay, so enough with the fat tricycle. Uh, we're now in 1908, and uh, Henry Ford and his motor company has uh, released the T Model Ford, and it's affordable. Yeah, it was 850 USD back in 1908, which is uh, now uh, 35,000 NZD, which is uh, still still affordable for for a car. Yeah, so now it's 1949, and Chrysler has just invented the ignition. You would just twist a key and uh, starts the car. Before you had to push a button to start the car, but that means somebody could break into your car, push the button, and drive away. Okay, now onto car radios. In 1929, two dudes, William Lear and Alma Wavering, were in a car driving, and they're like, yo, wouldn't it be epic if we could listen to music? And it was like, yeah. And so, they put a radio in a car, took the radio to a convention, blasted music out of this radio. Everybody was like, damn, I want a radio in my car. And they're like, hmm, guess we can put one in. And then, radio in a car. Power steering. It's 1926 and Francis W. Davis is not having a great time trying to turn the steering wheel on a truck carrying a heavy load. So it creates a design where when you turn the wheel, a hydraulic pump sends fluid forcing the wheel to turn. His idea was too expensive and nobody liked it. So in 1951, Chrysler stole his idea, put it into a normal car called the Chrysler Imperial. And everybody was like, damn, this is good and power steering. Okay, here's a few quick ones to make this video longer. Chrysler again, in 1953, uh, makes air conditioning, even though it was already a thing. So it had vents on the back of the car, and air would go into the vents into this massive box in the trunk of the car, and then the air would get sent from the box out into the car. Okay, there's barely any information on this one. But in 1959, a Volvo engineer, Nils Bolin, thought, wow, wouldn't it be such a great idea if we could have like a belt that went around us, that stopped us from getting flung out of a car when it crashed. Okay, so I haven't said everything about the evolution of car technology, and this is just a few things that I've kind of learned and I put into a video. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, bye.